How's it going today, guys? This is Kaiju Manic, your host, bringing you a brand new Bandai Movie Monster Series figure to review. Today, we are looking at the Hedorah Final Wars figure. Let's not waste any time. Let's dive into this brand new awesome figure and so you guys can get to the other two reviews in the series as well. For it is Final Wars Weekend. <laughs> Looking at the detail here on this brand new Hedora, you can definitely see that there is some extra love and extra care going into this figure. I love the way that this figure looks, let's just be honest. Uh, this is incredible that we even have him in the Movie Monster series line, but look at all that sculpt work. Look at the paint work. It's very, very nice for a $20 figure, I'm not going to lie. The eyes are a little goofy, I'm not going to lie. This one's off-center too, so that's not the greatest, but it's for a $20 figure, this is pretty damn good. Um, there are a few joint lines. The ankles technically have them, that, those ones you can see. But the head one, you can't see quite as easy as we thought we would. This side you can, it kind of disappears from here, so that's pretty cool. The top of the head... I like the way that this is painted like the classic Hedorah we got last year. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Here's a view from the back. Under the arms aren't painted. That's slightly disappointing because um, I still believe that they are yellow. The arms are two different molds. We've got kind of like the claw hands, and then we've got the long finger on this one, though it's not quite as long on this mold as it actually is in the movie, I believe. Yeah, you can see that thing really hangs off right there. We've got the back hoses right here. He doesn't have like his weird, or she even, doesn't have the long egg sac in the back. The tail is actually pretty decently long, though it's completely unpainted. So typical movie monster series. Let's see here. Anything special? Nope. Don't even have a date for the molds. So that's pretty interesting. But this figure looks definitely nice. Looks... Close enough to the suit for what we're getting. Obviously, some of the hoses and extra uh, things that protrude off of him aren't as crazy as on the suit, but they kind of have to do that because of, you know, don't want the figure to fall apart. Speaking of the tag and suit, look at how nice that tag looks. I love that shot of Hedora. Too bad we didn't get more of him in the movie, or her, it. We didn't get more of it in the movie. Uh, as you can see, my tag is ripped. Hobby Link Japan's kind of been lacking on their tag support, um, to be honest. They've kind of been just throwing things in here. There's the back. We've got the a really cool, like, silhouette photo from the front here. Very nice. Got the whole Final Wars movie monster series. Just a standard release. Very nice. Paint's nice. I like the red, the silver. It's just a darn good basic movie monster series. Now for the articulation, he only has two, which is the arms. He can come out, do the thriller. Um, yeah, that's about it. Head's on a glue seal. Ankles are on a glue seal. He doesn't need much more. As you guys can see, this figure is just a solid base figure on the line. So let's look at him size comparison with a few other figures real quick. Man, we have come very far. Here is the classic 71 Hedorah new mold with the Final Wars Hedorah. And honestly, I love them both. Um, I really do like both designs. I like the way that these figures look. So, there you go. And here's Hedorah with the brand new sculpt. Well, mostly, well, partially new sculpt of Godzilla Final Wars. And the newer Movie Monster series version of 04 Gigan. I think he looks pretty good. Um, I do believe Godzilla was about the same height, or maybe he's supposed to be a little bit smaller than Hedora, but this is damn fine close enough for sitting them on the shelf. And of course we have to scale him up with the channel mascot and his creepy little stepbrother, uh, just to kind of give you a scale. This is a very good sized Movie Monster series figure. Two. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This figure is definitely very nice. Is there a few kind of small things wrong with him? Yes, the tail's not painted, the back's kind of painted, and there's just some missing paint apps. But for a brand new Bandai mold, that is not in the most incorrect scale, at least, like a certain Mechagodzilla, <coughs> both releases, <coughs> probably Kodora coming up. <coughs> this figure is very, very nice. I'm glad that they kept him large-ish, and they kept it pretty faithful to the sculpt. The paint apps, reference the old figure 
while also blending into the new. I'm definitely a pretty damn big fan of that. So he's going to get a damn solid 8 out of 10. Definitely recommend picking this guy up if you can. Uh, he's still available. Well, actually, I think he's on back order on Hobby Link Japan. So you might have some better uh, options at shopping for him from retailers here in the U.S. Like Showcase to Kaiju, just for an example. So that is it, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Peace, rock on, stay safe. Remember to go to Collect All Monster Monster Collectors. Join the discussion with 15, 16, 1700 wonderful other tokusatsu collectors of all different types. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys. Me and Hedora signing off. Oh,